<clears throat> All right, so uh, it's 7.05 p.m. And this is a meeting of the Community Board 8 District Manager Search Committee. Uh, the search committee consists of three community board members. Um, uh, I'll introduce myself and then Julie and Omar, if you would, just for the record, everybody who's on here knows everybody else, but uh, just for the record, so I am Bob Bender, uh, chair of this committee. Hi, I'm Omar Mori. I'm a member of Community Board 8. Hello, I'm Julie Reyes, Community Board member. Okay. Omar and Julie, thank you very much. So, um, so now that we've gotten the introduction out of the way, uh, the second item on the agenda for the meeting is a discussion of the criteria that we used in evaluating the candidates' resumes. I guess I should say at this point that we have received, I believe, 22 applications um, with resumes. Uh, I, I think that's right. It's it's very close. If it isn't exactly right, I'll have to recount it after the meeting just to be sure. <clears throat> um, and uh, we'll discuss uh, the resumes that each of us has read and and thinks look promising, um, promising enough that we should interview the candidates. Uh, I, I should say at this point, as Julian Omar know, that... Um, we were sent uh, scans or prints, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry, just getting over COVID, of the, um, of, of the candidates with their names blacked out, their email addresses blacked out, and the best effort possible made to um, not reveal either the gender or the ethnicity of the applicants. Uh, it's, it's not perfect, and sometimes there was information in the resumes that might lead one to make an educated guess, but um, you know, but we did everything we could to uh, disguise identity so that we were operating based solely on the um, on the applicant's credentials. Uh, as as far as the criteria go, um, speaking for myself, and of course, Julian Omar, you're you're um, entirely welcome to add um, your comments to this. Uh, an important criterion for me was what sort of experience the candidate had with community boards. Um, had the candidate ever served on a community board? Had the candidate ever worked for an elected official or, um, or a government agency, particularly a city agency, where the candidate may have had interaction with the community board uh, or, or perhaps worked for a nonprofit or a community organization, community group, community-based organization uh, that interacted with community boards. Um, so, uh, you know, a candidate who did not seem to have any experience with community boards, to me, um, that was a that was a serious flaw in a candidate's resume. Um, I, I was also interested in um, people who uh, might have had experience in the Bronx. Uh, I didn't think that was absolutely essential, but I thought that was certainly useful. Um, anybody who had served in uh, uh, in government in some capacity, um, not necessarily as an elected official, I'm quite sure we didn't have any, uh, but as an aide to an elected official or someone who had worked for a city agency, that, um, that certainly seemed to me a useful criterion. Uh, I did make note of those candidates who indicated they were bilingual, English and Spanish. That's not a requirement for the position, um, but it was something we could take into consideration. Um, and uh, those uh, and 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 also somebody who had worked in a supervisory capacity in some kind of supervisory capacity and had uh, had had responsibility uh, for overseeing one or more other people in some capacity because the district manager, of course, is going to be the office manager and will supervise the other two uh, office employees. So for me, those those were criteria that um, that I used. And um, Julie, why don't I call on you first? Was there anything uh, that factored in your thinking that I didn't mention? Pretty, pretty much on the same line. And if um, you probably mentioned it, if they themselves 
have ever participated personally on a board to get both sides on what we do mm -hmm. for better understanding, but pretty much everything that you said. Okay. Omar, anything uh, anything you wanted to add? Oh, uh, no, it's pretty much what you said. It has to be someone who know what community boards are. They know the function of government. They know how to get things done. They have to be able to know the structure of the mayor's office, particularly also the borough president's office. So, mm -hmm. you know, someone who has some form of government experience. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, good. All right, so... Um... So why don't we get down to the nitty gritty, uh, which is the uh, evaluation of the resumes that we received. Um, I, I should say for the record, because I do have this information, uh, that a considerable amount of outreach was done uh, with regard to advertising the position. Uh, let me just go over the list that I was made aware of of places where um, there was uh, some outreach, some advertising and some outreach. Uh, the publication City and State, um, the, uh, the business website LinkedIn, uh, also on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on the Community Board's website, and in our newsletter, uh, and in an email blast about the uh, position being opened. Um, the information was also shared with community boards elsewhere in the Bronx, and I understand in other boroughs as well. Uh, and I'm told that it was distributed to the agencies that meet with the community board for the district service cabinet, which is a lot of city agencies such as parks, um, DOT, uh, sanitation, uh, DEP, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so they were made aware of the opening as well. And, um, and the, um, the hiring website, indeed.com also. So there was a, a considerable amount of outreach around the uh, availability of the position of district manager. So, um, so with regard to the, the resumes, um, since I called on you first the last time, Julie, let me try Omar this time, okay? Omar, I'm I'm curious to know. And again, uh, uh, let me say this. I mean, first of all, we're identifying these individuals by letter only. Uh, every applicant was given a letter, uh, A, B, C, D, et cetera. Uh, so that's how we, we will identify these people. We don't know their names. And also when you're mentioning what it was um, about the applicant's resume that interested you, um, Try not to be too specific. You know, we, we want to be clear that we do not want to provide information that might make anyone identifiable. I, I don't think there's uh, that degree of, of information in any of these resumes, except possibly one. Um, and so, uh, you know, let's, uh, for instance, say, rather than, I love that this person has worked at the Department of Buildings for five years. You know, I, I like that this person has worked for a city agency for five years and has been in a supervisory capacity, that sort of thing. So just, you know, just a caution about, um, you know, not being too specific in, in something you say. Better to say this person worked for a city council member rather than, oh, this person worked for a city council member who represented district such and such. Um, so that's, uh, uh, having said that, Omar, I'm, I'm curious to know which of the applications interested you the most. Well, um, I'm looking at T's resume. And T. T, T. <laughs> I'm sorry, and say that again. T, T. Do you see letter T resume? Uh, yes, I did see T. Right. 10 years. 10 years as a community board associate for a community board tree. You know, that's, that's, that's a plus. Yeah. Again, and see, that's the sort of thing. 10 years as an associate for a community board. Right. It's a better way to say it. Right. And then if you look at you, uh huh. Senior legislative associate. Uh huh. Public, public relations, the director of um, constituency 
services for a council member, Vanessa Gibson, who is the current borough president. See, that's a plus right there. Okay. You know. Uh, again, try not to be too specific, Omar. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, well, <laughs> well, those two, to me, stand out the most. So, yeah. Okay. It's T and U. Yes. All right. Julie. Okay. Um, I actually had them on my list as well because of the association uh, between news and also you. Julie, I'm, Julie I'm, I'm, uh, can you speak a little more into the, directly into the microphone? I'm having okay. a little trouble hearing I'm you. I'm sorry. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yes. Is this any better? Okay. Yes. Um, I also had T and you. Uh, T for the reasons of the 10 years um, working with elected officials and mm -hmm. also you for the same reason and you, um, we're, we're not taking into account whether they're bilingual or not, but that was on there as well for you. Mm -hmm. uh, the other two, I actually had five and I wanted to bring it down to three. So I'm glad Omar picked two of mine. Uh, I also thought that C, but first I have to preface by saying that there were so many well-rounded um, individuals who applied. I mean, it was outstanding. But for what the board needs, I think uh, candidate letter C. Okay, Julia, again, I'm a, a candidate okay, how, letter. How about this? Let, let, me, let me try this. I'm sorry. Okay, candidate letter C for working C. with elected officials. Can you hear yes. me now? Oh, I hear you perfectly. That's excellent. That's even better. <laughs> okay, great. Um, for the many uh, of, of knowing the community and working with elected officials. Uh huh. And candidate letter J. J. Um, I feel that um, I have to relook at something. J, basically because of, of uh, the experience uh, working within. Grants, um, they were pretty well-rounded for me. I don't have okay. it that they, I would say J. Okay. And so you had four all together. I have T, U, C, and J, is that correct? Yes. Okay. All right, good. Okay, um, my turn. <clears throat> so I also had T and U. Um, and I had C, uh, and I thought, um, quite frankly, that C was the strongest of the candidates, um, because uh, C has worked, as you know, for uh, a council member and a state senator. Uh, C is also um, has a lot of connections to our community um, and, and without going into a great deal of detail because uh, I, I think it would be too revealing, uh, but C has worked for uh, nonprofits and community organizations uh, in the Northwest Bronx. Mm -hmm. um, but I thought, I thought C's resume was particularly strong. Uh, I also had J like Julie, um, and I also had B, B as in Bob, uh, as, um, as a possible candidate as well. <laughs> Excuse me. So it looks like we all have T and U. Um, two of us, Julie and myself, have C and J. <laughs> um, and B, I think, is, is worth consideration. Um, let me say, why that's the case, um, since since I'm the only one who seems to have selected B. He was he was a, that that applicant B was actually on my question mark because they did have a good background, but the the one thing that I noticed is that he moved around a bit. I, I so, exactly the same, Julie. Yeah. I had exactly the same response. On the positive side, uh, B has worked with. Uh, uh, a bid uh, business improvement district in Manhattan. 
with a community organization in Brooklyn, with another community organization in Staten Island. Uh, I was beginning to wonder if if the next job would be to run for mayor, having you know worked at three different uh, uh, boroughs, worked in three different boroughs. Um, and in addition, uh, B had worked for um, had worked in the state senate for several years. But as as you pointed out, Julie, um, over the course of the last uh, five or six years. Uh, this candidate has worked at five different jobs, and that's, I, I, I don't consider that to be a positive attribute. Um, so, so that is uh, something that, you know, that was of concern to me. So I, you know, look, I'm not, I'm not going to argue strenuously for B. Uh, if, if uh, all of you think that uh, we have four strong candidates or four, you know, good candidates in T, U, J, and C, um that's that's fine with me but uh do we want to discuss that a little further omar uh you know you you had t and u but you didn't have c and j and i'm yep. curious uh whether you looked at those resumes or what you think of I'm, those resumes i'm looking at b right now and this doesn't this doesn't seem like a person that stays one place too long <laughs> that's <laughs> true yeah, that is they, true. They, they, yeah. He yeah, that's I mean, that's the weakness in that person's resume. I agree. I mean, it, there's a there's a, a good range of experience there, but it's because that candidate seems to move around every couple of years. Yeah, they don't, you know, and we need someone that's going to stay with us for a while. You know, Kira stay with us for a long while. So Yes. Yeah. We need somebody that's going to stay with us for a while. So, OK, what, what other one did you say again? Uh, the other two that Julie and I mentioned that you did not were C and J. C and J. Now, C, I, and again, Omar, I, I'd be particularly careful with C because that person um, has some substantial connections in our community, and, and we want to not C. be too specific in, in citing C's resume. Otherwise, I think we're, you know, we're putting ourselves in... Um, at some risk of of revealing that person's identity. You could say something like C can walk into the office tomorrow and uh, they can start to work right away. <laughs> this C, yeah, C is C so, is someone who definitely knows our community. That's clear from the resume. So C is okay. Mm -hmm. Serve as director of constitution. Yeah. C is okay. Mm -hmm. And I found that Jay's experience um, would bring the outreach that we need, the outreach oh, component. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jay wow. is someone who has worked for a city agency since 2017 uh, and has been a, in a position in that city agency where <clears throat> C has done um, a fair amount of, of outreach um, to um to communities uh, has has essentially been in a public facing position within that city agency. Mm -hmm. um, so in so, that respect, C seems C, good. Yes, C is good, and J also. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I meant J. That I, I was yeah. sorry. Mm -hmm. I was referring to J. Right. I apologize. So, so C yeah. and J. Right. Along with the next two. So four. Is it four we have or? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm I'm satisfied with those four. I am I'm, too. Me too. Yeah, and um, uh, Jay is also, I think, as Julie said, bilingual. I'm yes. not sure that's true about the others. You know, and again, it's a, it's a consideration. That's all it is. Not a requirement, but it's a consideration. Right. Um, <clears throat> I, I like I like Jay not because of the bilingual, but mostly because of the outreach that they built up throughout their career for the various offices that they work in. Uh -huh. um, because one of the issues that always comes up in our meetings is how are we gonna reach the community? How are we gonna reach them? Right. And when I read through Jay's, Jay spoke on um, how they could increase mm -hmm. outreach and also grant writing mm -hmm. um, and the city experience. Not necessarily bilingual, that wasn't in, like a consideration. It's just right. something that was there, but just right. 
the well-roundedness of really right. the outreach on the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree. Um, you know, 15 years of experience with uh, the city of New York uh, has uh, has led meetings and and built collaborative partnerships, uh, et cetera. No, I I I think Jay has a good resume. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, well then, um, since we seem to be in agreement on on four candidates, um, which I'm glad to see. Um, you know, my great fear was that we'd all come into this with different <laughs> candidates and uh, it would be a long night. But, um, we, you know, we, we do seem to have um, coalesced around the same small group, uh, which is which is a good sign. So the next step then would be uh, to go back to the board office uh, with those four candidates and um, and have uh, the board office contact them confirm that they're still interested in the position. Uh, and then we will need to set up in-person interviews. Um, so Julie, uh, remind me about, uh, let me just make a note here on the four we've agreed on. So I have that. Um, Julie, uh, remind me because we, we uh, I think it is important um, to the extent that we possibly can to do these interviews in person okay. in the board office. Um, what What is your availability or what is your unavailability over the next couple of weeks? I will be available um, Wednesday, April 5th on. Okay. That, yeah, the rest of that week's a problem between Passover and uh, Holy Week, Good Friday, right. Holy Thursday, Good Friday, et cetera. So probably that week is out okay. uh, starting on the 5th. Passover starts that evening. Okay. Um, so I, I think we'd be looking at the following week. Okay, whatever day and time is good for you guys, the following week, just I'm a definite yes. Now, uh, what about next week? Are you, are you away next week? I'm trying to remember. Right, so Palm Sunday. So next it's, week is not good. Next for you. week is not good. Okay, so then it it sounds like we're looking at the week of what would that be? One, two, three. The week of the tenth of April, Monday, the tenth of April. Unless you um, did a if you did a Saturday the eighth. Um. We, well, I mean that that would be up to us. I mean the you know the mm -hmm. advantage, you know, we should give some thought to that because as far as I can recall, <clears throat> and again I have to look at the resumes again. But I believe all of these people are currently employed. Mm -hmm. uh, so, <laughs> excuse me, it may or may not be possible for them to get time off during the week, right. during the workday. Um, so, you know, the, uh, the possibility of having a meeting on Saturday is something we could consider. The, the other important thing to remember about this meeting is that this meeting would be held in executive session, um, meaning that only the three of us would be doing these interviews and it would not be on Zoom and, and there would not be other people present for the interviews. Mm -hmm. um, so you're saying a Saturday is a possibility for you? Yes. Just, Any uh, weekend except for Easter Sunday, which is April 9th. And right. it would also be for me, a Saturday would be good. Okay. And, and the week of the 10th, Omar, are you in pretty good shape that week? Yeah, so um, if we were meeting, what time of the day would it be? What do you think? Well, that would be up to us. And, and um, you know, we'd have to see when the candidates are available. Um, it, it might be an evening meeting, uh, you know, which would make sense for people who are working during the day. Mm -hmm. uh, or it may be that somebody's able to get some time off during the day. Uh, I don't know. So uh, are you flexible in that regard, Omar? Yes, yes, I am. You could do a daytime meeting as well as an evening meeting? Yes. More, well, preferably the evening. Okay. And what about you, Julie? I'm open. I'm pretty, I'm, as long as I know a week before, I'm, I'm open to whatever you two guys. Okay. Um, for me, excuse me, there are two days of the week when I could not do a daytime meeting. There are three days of the week when I could. Um, so, uh, so that you know, this is really an organizational issue. We don't have to resolve this here and now. 
um, the, you know, the first order of business is to go back to the board office and say, we have four candidates that we all agree on. Uh, let's contact them and, you know, make sure they're still interested and, and see what their availability is uh, and see how they are, you know, in terms of uh, daytime, uh, weekday, daytime, weekday evening or weekend. Um, and since the three of us seem to have a fair degree of flexibility, I would think we ought to be able to do those interviews over the course of that week of April 10th. Okay. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay. All right. Well, um, well, thank you for your diligent review of the resumes. Um, and, and as I said, I'm very glad to learn that we have coalesced around a small group of candidates. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I think, um, you know, I think we've got a potentially good district manager here somewhere uh, among these four folks. Sure. And uh, we'll have a much better sense of that after we talk to them. Awesome. Anything else? Any other business anybody wants to bring up? I just want to say thank you for chairing this meeting and also for volunteering to be the chair. You know, I appreciate what you're doing. Yeah, well, I didn't exactly That's volunteer, second. Omar, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I, 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 uh, I did accept the designation, but thank you. And yeah. And and the same to you and, and Julie, as I said, thanks so much for being diligent and reviewing these applications and resumes. Bob, are you guys answering any questions from public or just uh, members only? No, no. I mean, uh, you know, it's an open meeting, Dan. Uh, yeah, uh, go ahead if you have a question. Yeah, just one process question. You know, it, it was raised and you know, I've previously been on this committee. And when I did it, you know, both times I, I didn't do it forward, but I remember being asked both times by another member of the board, which is whether or not the search committee will bring out more than one candidate when it does finally come to the board. And I'm, I'm not asking for an answer, but mm -hmm. I remember I was questioned when we did bring the final candidates to the board at the end. And I just offer it now, you know, for the search committee to think about and to propose and, you know, to give it some thought. Mm -hmm. This pros and cons to both, obviously. Um, mm -hmm. And again, just we were asked beforehand, and I, I raise it now at the beginning of the process. So that way you guys have the benefit of the question at the beginning. I, I appreciate that, Dan. I appreciate you bringing it up. I think that's something the three of us will discuss among ourselves. Um, and, uh, you know, as you say, we don't have to come to an answer on that now. I think uh, after we've interviewed the four candidates, we'll be able to come back and, and we should yeah. be able at that point to provide a clear answer to that question. And just as a point of information, again, not that you have, we, what we did at the last, I know Mar I see Marty's on also, when we, we did a second interview with officers, asking the officers to come in and just ask questions again and give feedback, mm -hmm. um, I just offer that as historical reference. Yeah, well, I, I, I believe that ex officio, the, the board chair is um, certainly entitled to be at these meetings, yeah. um, at these interviews, I should say. Um, at the moment, I, I think uh, I think we're down one officer, but I would be perfectly happy to uh, to invite the other officer as well. Yeah, uh, so I, I personally I found it useful. That. I don't know if Marty did or not, but I offered mm -hmm. it as something that we had done in the past. Was no, I think, well, you know, Laura has been sending us information based on on previous experience and also based on some uh, EEOC training that she's had with the borough president's office. So that's been helpful. Uh, I, I think her presence would certainly be helpful, but of course that's up to her. Yeah. But thanks for the suggestion, Dan. Okay, guys. Good, yeah. luck. Good luck. Thank you, Maggie, punching your face. Hello. Okay. Uh, Omar, I, I think that was background. I don't think that was you. Unless you love us. <laughs> I heard you little oh, kids. Well, they sounded so cute. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Dan, thanks for the suggestions. I appreciate it. And um, yeah, I think uh, if, if there are no other questions, uh, then I would say we're done. Thank okay. you, Bob. All right. Thank you both. And um, I'll be in touch about the dates. You know, I'll coordinate with the board office. We'll do the outreach to the candidates. And then uh, I'll get back to both of you okay. with the dates. And we'll work that out. All right. So long, Dan. Thank Marty. Bye, Bye, Omar. Bye, Marty. Bye. Marty. Bye. Bye.
Have a good evening. Bye. Night.